This video is gonna be a little something different. It's been a while since I started this YouTube channel. It's been about a year. And I left with an update. I believe the update was something along the lines of I'm going to be coming back to the YouTube channel, but starting something greater, starting something new, starting something, I, I, don't, I don't even remember what the update was, but I've done the same thing with a previous YouTube channel, Default As Awesome. That was my gaming YouTube channel when I was 13 years old, and if I kept going with that, I would be doing it for the rest of my life, because... You start something, and then you keep going with something, and then you notice that in years, it grows exponentially. I left that channel, and my highest ranking video maybe had 100 views on it. About six or seven years later, I check back on it, and that video has about 1,000 views. If I kept going with Default is Awesome, I would be playing video games as my career right now, and I wouldn't have to be doing all of the extra stuff that I have to do when we're entering a recession right now. So this is the time to be capitalizing on what you do. You're either capitalizing on what you do or you're capitalizing on what other people are using you for. And I personally don't like that. I have a very fortunate living situation. At the moment, I don't pay anything for rent. I'm 22 years old, and a lot of people my age are not in that position. And I am very grateful for it every single day. A lot of people are in my position or are in better positions than me who aren't grateful for it. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So, what else am I going to do other than make YouTube videos showing my true, genuine self out there to people? Because when I go out there into the world, no one out there wants to talk to you. No one out there is social enough to have a conversation with you. No one out well, there are people out there. But on average, you're not going to go out there and spark a conversation with a stranger like you used to be able to 10 years ago. You can. <sighs> I grew up as a fat boy. From a very early age, I was, let, let's say, I mean, you, you, you get the idea. Elementary school, middle school, and high school. I was a chubby, pasty boy and then I just get thrown into school like there you go have fun I didn't have much to offer I got made fun of a lot and it's disassociating There are people who peaked in high school and then they continue to repeat that for the rest of their lives. I have dreams about high school and my childhood and growing up as this fat, pasty boy in my dreams a good percentage of nights. And I wish, I wish I was who I was now. So I could show all those fuckers who they're really messing with. Who, the person who they messed with after he looked deep down inside of himself and said, fuck all that shit. That update was true. All my other YouTube videos, it's me talking about positivity and creativeness and whatever rah rah shit but from now on this youtube channel is about success it's about artistry it's about making money it's about 
being the best fucking you that you can be. Because right now I'm the best me that I've been my whole life. But I'm going to get better. From now on, this channel is about not seeking out instant pleasures. Not seeking out bullshit. You want to call yourself a fucking man? And you're just fucking... Just drinking out of a bottle, smoking out of a bag, just throwing away all of your expenses into these instant pleasures. And then what and then what do we do? You know, we work for 50, maybe 60 hours a week, sleep for I think it's 58 hours a week if you're healthy. That still leaves 47 hours in the day on average, in the week, excuse me. What are you doing those 47 hours? Are you swiping social media? Are you getting drunk and sitting behind a screen? Are you spending time with your loved ones? Are you making content? Or are you, absor are you absorbing content? crazy world we live in we're entering a recession and the only reason we are is due to the ignorance of everyone everyone chooses to remain ignorant to it you mentioned we're having a recession or you mentioned anyone's negative traits and they try to cover it up they try to explain it they try to remain ignorant to it. They give you a reason why they don't care. Sometimes it's good not to care. It's unhealthy to care too much. But what about your kids? What about the world they're gonna grow up in? What about yourself in 30 years? Maybe I think too much about my future self. Maybe I think too much about my past self. I don't think a lot about my present self. So I make these videos so that maybe you guys can think about my present self for me. Just spark conversations. It's a crazy state that the world's in. The vibe of this episode is immediately a little bit different than everything else. The room's darker. I'm wearing a Sun O shirt. The lighting's on my face. And I'm just gonna fucking record the video and upload it. I'm not gonna spend hours of my week editing, because that's hours I could be working out. That's hours I could be spending with my loved ones. That is hours I could be making music or making more content. By the way, naft.bandcamp.com. Check out the classics and check out Observatory. Uh, I don't know how to explain them other than... Just, uh, just listen. <laughs> uh, I already explained this experimental techno punk. Uh, 47 hours in a week if you work 50 to 60 hours on average. What are you doing those hours? You're working in your 9 to 5, but what are you doing in your 5 to 9? Me? I'm just sitting in this room. I was sitting in this room for the past two hours thinking about what I'm going to do. What am I going to do today? Is it going to be an eventful day or am I just going to sit here scrolling 
maybe jerk one off as so many men in this day and age are inclined to do multiple times a day. Maybe I'll play some video games by myself in the darkness. Which, video games are fine. But, too much of anything will drain you. People who don't have the motivation to get things done, there's always something draining them. And if you don't find out what's draining you, you're gonna pass that on to someone else and you're gonna drain someone else. And that's the worst thing you could do. Never let anyone else drain you. We all experience loss. What's the worst thing that you lost? What's the thing that when you think about the stuff that drains you, what drains you the most? What is that thing? Think about it. And you need to extinguish it. We can't keep doing this to each other. There's a reason I call this podcast the podcast nobody asked for. Matter of fact, I don't even call it that anymore. Now it's just nobody asked for this. Not because it's the first four letters of my last name. It's because no one asks for what they receive in life. No one asks for deaths of loved ones. No one would ever ask for that. They do. But no one with a healthy conscience. Nobody asks for us needing to work out every day. Nobody asked for all of us to be slaves to a corporate mega ship. And nobody asked for me to sit here telling you about it. I shouldn't have to sit here and tell you about it. Good to be back on YouTube, man. I think that the moral of this episode is to make the most out of your days, just like it is with every episode that I've done this far. But now it's serious. It's always been serious. But for me, it's serious, especially today. When's it gonna get serious for you? Are you gonna keep waiting? I know I'm not. Remember, nobody asked for this.